Alright guys, not every day I get to say this, but it looks like we're taking a trip straight to the United Kingdom itself. I believe this is the first product I've ever reviewed from the United Kingdom, and I believe that's where this product is from. It is the Hellfire Mav T, and one thing that I can tell you guys, let's do this. Alright guys, so we're going to be reviewing the uh, Hellfire Mav T. Now, um, this is the first product from Hellfire I've ever reviewed, and I hope that I didn't get it wrong. I think they are from the United Kingdom. Uh, their company, that is, not the, well, yeah, the company. I believe it is from the United Kingdom, and uh, this is the first product I've ever reviewed from them. I like to mention where I'm reviewing my products from. It's something I've done since the beginning, and it's something I'll continue to do, just to give you a little tidbit, or a tidbit of information that you might need I don't know, for Jeopardy later on. But yeah, um, very nice products. I've never, like I said, reviewed them before. I had a, th a thought in my mind about them that wasn't true, and I will discuss that a little bit later. So let's drop down to the table, and let's talk about the Mav-T. Let's do this. All right, guys, so this is the packaging the little gem ski itself comes in. Uh, yeah, first Hellfire product here. I hear a lot of good things about them. Uh, this is one of your typical high-end type package deals. It is a aluminum type uh, esque tin, if you will. Um, it has, says Hellfire with their logo right here, with two little, you know, mech mods coming through with two RDAs on top. All right, so let's pop the top, Pringles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so let's take a look at the extras. So if you take a look at the extras, oh yeah, also. This is foam-esque. Your RDTA will be right here. Your extries will be in the ovular part, if you will. Alright, so taking a look at the extries. We have a super long non-squonk pin right uh, here. It is going to be used with a Allen key that is not included, so that's minus points right uh, here. So then you got some uh, black O-rings right here and right here. I believe these are rubber. Also, you're going to have two extra post screws right here. So it's nice to see that they include the extra post screws. Now, the post screws themselves are flathead. Um, might be a negative to some of you, but that's just what it is. All right, and right here, this is another part of the extras. It is a 510 uh, drip tip adapter. Very nice stainless steel, nice thick O-ring. I will say they use a lot of quality stuff as far as the extras go. The O-rings are nice and beefy. They're not like cheap. They don't feel like they're gonna rip anytime soon, but that's just a testament to, I guess, Hellfire themselves. So let's take a look at the little gem ski itself. Now I, I disassembled the little gem ski because a lot of interesting things to talk about when it comes to this. So let's just start off with the base. The most least uh, interesting part, but let me zoom in just a tad ski. Alright, so let's take a look at the base itself. Um, very nicely machined. I would say it, it's very clean. Uh, again, I like that they use these thick, beefy O-rings because uh, back in the day, I don't know if you guys remember, let's just say the avocado. If you had the avocado and you'd been using it for a while, you would take the base off, you would take the glass off, and the O-rings would stick. I haven't had that issue with this, and I don't know if that's a testament to the beefy O-rings and just the fact that that O-ring fits very nicely in there. It doesn't come out easily. Uh, this is the glass section. A uh, very thick glass section. Not normally something you'll see on our DTAs is thick glass. Uh, very nice. Let's just take a look at the width of this glass, because I, I was pretty impressed. Almost two millimeters thick, you know what I mean? So that, that's a nice, hefty glass section. Alright, let's go to the top part right here. Uh, something interesting, uh, you're going to see right inside is the airflow adjustment, and you can actually see right here, it spins, very cool. These little posts right here will act as your airflow, they go up and down, not in a traditional sense of up and down, but when they spin, they actually recede up and down, but I will show you that here in a little bit. Nice little beefy o-ring. 
Uh, just subtle little accents on the, uh, I guess you would consider this to be the top cap, top, top cap section. Uh, nice little subtle, you know, accents on it. Nothing too outrageous, nothing too out of control. So right here you're going to see those two little cutouts, divot, divot. That's where your airflow inserts, I guess you could say, or airflow posts are going to go into. To where you spin it, it'll go up because it threads up. Taking a look at the airflow itself, it's a deceiving airflow. It's something that really kept me from wanting to buy this product because I thought it was going to be a wide open airflow only. Now, you're looking at the outside of the airflow, it looks like it's going to be super, you know, wide open. Four point, you know, that's a rough estimate, but it actually narrows down quite a bit as you're going to see inside. So let's take a look at the inside of the cap. You're going to see this is where the airflows are going to conjoin to and it, the airflow itself is not that big when it comes into the inside uh, there's no domage so for all you domage conspiracy theorists uh, absolutely no domage involved in this so let's put the tap top cap back in very easily to do nice snappy sound right there uh, you know seamless almost it, it 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 really is machined nicely it has a nice pearlescent to it as you can see it uh, reflecting the light very nicely on the 304 stainless steel. So one thing I will say with glass is you got to be very careful when you put it back on, but let me just show you a couple things inside. All right, so right there you're going to have the release valve for when you're filling on the side right here. Interesting, I'm glad they kind of went with this. This is a simple uh, straight to the point way to fill your e-juice. You know, a lot of companies now will have a post you pull out, but this is nice, you know. If you're not squonking, it's nice so you can just fill it up right in there. Unicorn tip bottles, they fit Gorilla bottles, they fit uh, Dripper bottles might have some issue, but they will fit, I would imagine. Uh, one last thing I do want to show you in here, and it's something that's pretty slick, and it's pretty interesting uh, to me, but, you know, where the e-juice comes in, and I, I've never seen this on any RDTA that's squonkable, so this is a first, and it's very innovative, if you will, uh, is this little spot right here. So it's going to travel up and it's going to come out here and it's going to fill from the top down. Now a lot of our, DD, our DTAs have little holes on the post and what will happen, what tends to happen is you can never fully fill up your tank because it will suck back e-juice like a squonk will. With this you can basically fill it to the tip top because you know that that little thing is all the way to the top so you know that's that's very innovative. I like that. I think that's very interesting. Never seen that before so that's very cool. Uh, right here, you're going to see you have an O-ring. I believe there is an O-ring in here. So yeah, let's take a look. Two O-rings separating the bottom. So one thing like I was saying, when you're putting glass on anything, do not over-tighten. Be very careful because you can break the glass. Yes, this is thick glass, but it is glass nonetheless. You know, it only takes one wrong move and your glass is done so. i seen Pal702 doing this on his video. Yes, the threads are super buttery clean. Uh, very nice, I will say. Never had an issue of taking this part off. That's one thing I really like. All the tolerances, whether it's the threading, the O-rings, very nice. Taking a look at the little deck itself, uh, you're going to have your jig spot right here where you're going to put your coil. I, I don't necessarily know if I like these, but I'll get into that here in a little bit. Uh, you're going to have your flat head stainless steel screws. Very nice. No gold plating on this at all, which is super clean, super sexy, super nice. Your airflow, flow, airflow, no, airflow is going to come straight through here and on this side straight through here. Taking a look at the deck, I, I don't find these little reservoirs that go down to here necessary. I don't find them that they work because once you put the cotton in, I, I won't say they won't work, but they're, you know, on the RDA, I think they served a purpose. On here, I'm not sure that they necessarily do. Uh, yeah, if you do over squonk, and actually, you can put a you know, you can put a gorilla bottle on this right here and fill. It's interesting; it does work, but you know sometimes it does backfire and it will come up. You know, just be careful. You can actually fill through this hole if you absolutely needed to. Uh, one thing I do not like is these screws. They're very short, and it, it can be a pain sometimes when you're trying to get your coils underneath, especially if you're using beefier coils in this. Now, I'll get into whether or not you should use beefier coils in this later. Uh, it does uh, come with a drip tip as well. This is a, I, w I would say it's proprietary. I'm not sure. I don't know if 510s fit in this or not, or 810s. I will find that out here in a second. Uh, 
Everything, if you notice, has a nice click to it. It has a nice fit to it. Uh, it's it just super clean, you know what I mean? So let me put a build in this. I think I've gone over everything that's important and everything that's uh, crucial. So yeah, let me put a build in this thing for you guys and come right back. Also, no logo, no branding in it, all over any of it. It's just a clean, high-end device. I mean, this thing is really... It, it's nice for an RDTA, I'll give them that. And they have a lot of nice little specs. Alright guys, so as far as quality placement goes, you're going to see it's almost, you know, with dead shot on with those posts, or with the, uh, you know, the al the grub screw, or the uh, jig spot, it, it almost, you know, fits perfectly. You're going to want it all the way down. Uh, you don't want to go any higher than this, I believe, because, you know, this deck is pretty condensed, and I'll show you here in a little bit what I mean when I say the deck is super condensed. One thing I will say, these screws are very short, or they're very, you know, they're very tiny. I don't necessarily like those. Uh, the flatheads can be quite annoying as well. Looking from the top, it's almost right in the center, which is nice. So, let's uh, heat it up, make sure it's good to go. Glow and nice. So, the cotton and the juice I will be using, the juice will be Keep It 100 Blue Slushy. And you guys know that I just, I can't stay away from it. Whether it's one week, two days, cotton bacon, guys. you got to use it, you know? No, not Kevin Bacon. But truly, it is cotton bacon. So, not easy, or not hard to wick this thing, you know? It can be a pain to try to get it through here into there. But once you do, it goes straight in. I don't I guess you could even use that as a guide in and of itself. I don't want to, you know, just pull through like normal. Now, where I like to cut to is about... Now, you're going to have to eye it up sometimes. You know, it's not always perfect every time. You don't want too much cotton, but you don't want not enough cotton either. What I like about this deck is the fact that this thing right here is very deep. So, you know, any kind of runoff juice isn't going to come out the airflow holes. You essentially have another well right there. So it's actually quite nice. I like how they did that. I like how the cotton sits down. And I also like how big the juice holes are or the fill, uh, I guess the wicking holes. I like how deep the wicking holes are. I feel like they provide ample juice to where you never get dry hits. And that's super nice when it comes to an RDTA. Now, with this one, I don't put any cotton down into those wick holes. I leave them completely just resting in these wells, and you'll never have to worry about leaking. You never have to worry about none of that. So it's something I want to show you just, so you, just in case you don't believe me. You can fill through that right there, and it'll be good to go. But yeah, that's the Mav-T, guys. Let's go back up on top, and I will tell you what I truly, truly think about it. Alright guys, so if there's one thing you know about me, it's the fact that, you know, I, I, I keep it I keep it simple. I'm going to try to keep it short, sweet, and to the mother effing point. Now this video is going to be a little bit longer than most, but it's because there's a lot of detail to this. There's a lot of things that need to be pointed out when it comes to this product. Okay, so, you know, in the past with Hellfire products, I didn't want to follow the hype. I didn't want to follow the train of people that were like, I love this product. I didn't want to do it. You know, i got to be objective. i got to think on my own. I didn't want to just review something because a lot of people like it. I wanted to like it myself. Now when it comes to the Maverick, even the RDA, I didn't know. I thought that this thing was going to be massive amounts of airflow and I, I didn't think I was going to like it. I, I didn't realize how how intricate this thing is for an RDA or RDTA. You can really dial down the airflow and this thing is, it has a condensed chamber. No matter how you look at it, if you look from the top down, your coil is right there. There's not a lot of space in there for vapor to go anywhere else but up and to make flavor. So, you know, like I said, Hellfire, they make good stuff, and I know that now. They have very good materials. They have very good products. But let's start off with the pros and the cons. I don't want to gush too much. All right, so when it comes to the cons, the first one's going to be how short those screws are. I just, I, I can't... I, I always think that they should make screws ample enough just in case you want to put a bigger type coil in here. Now, you're not going to want to go above 3.0 in this inner diameter. I'm doing 2.5 and it's actually a lot better to me than what 3.0 was. This thing will definitely suffice uh, a lot of different things, but we'll get into that with the pros. Um, for some of you, and I got to mention it, whether or not it's a pro or whether or not it's a con or not, the proprietary drip tip. It's a thing that you got to look at. If you don't like it, yes, they do include a 510 drip tip adapter, but some people don't like 510 drip tip adapters as well. 
Uh, to some of you, and it's happened to me in the past, if, if you take the top cap off and you've got a full tank, sometimes you move your RDA around, you know what I mean, your RDTA around. Juice will come out the side um, fill port. And, you know, that's something about being clumsy. It's not really on them. I actually prefer that filling method, but we'll get into that, like I said, later. Just something to keep in mind. Uh, the price for some of you, it's in, it's above 200. Uh, it's about 220, I believe. So that will be a negative to some of you. But you know what you're getting into when you're getting into Hellfire products. Uh, as far as negatives go, the last one for me is going to be, you know, the where, where you put your coiling jig in. Those posts are a little bit obtrusive when you want to put your cotton in. But you know, it's not like it makes it impossible. It just makes it a little bit more difficult to put the cotton into the coil. Uh, as far as negatives go, I'm going to have to say that's about it. I mean, I don't know what else I can say about it. So let's move on to the plethora of positives. See what I did there? My smooth, sensual talking. Plethora of positives. So yes, um, first of all, I like that they did include a 510 drip tip adapter. Very nice. Oh, actually, sorry guys. One last, last negative. No Allen key, no screwdriver. You know, come on guys. Include it. What's it cost? 10, 10, 20 cents? Come on. All right, so let's go to the, like I said, plethora of positives. All right, so the first one, like I said, 510 drip tip adapter, nice. All right, so the airflow adjustment, super clean, super innovative, super nice. Yes, it was done on the Maverick, but I mean, come on. That thing is sexy, it's nice, it's clean. What you gonna do about it? All right, so I like the fill port method. I like the fact that it's on the side. Uh, one thing that I really truly like is the innovativeness of their squonk fill. Uh, it, it has to be said, I, do, I don't know, I've never seen it on, a, on an RDTA before, where it fills basically from the top down, and it will only suck back the tippy tippy top, yes, the tippy tippy top, that is scientific lingo, of the e-juice in the uh, glass. Super nice. Uh, I, that is innovative and it has to be said. I like that they went with glass. I think that's very, very nice. That's very classy, very high-end-esque. Instead of like a PC or a PMMA or Altum tank, they went with glass. Very nice. Uh, aesthetically, this thing is there. I think that this thing is clean. It's not loud. It's not obtrusive. It, it, it is the picturesque of what you would consider high-end. I, I like the wells where you put your cotton down into. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like that you don't have to put your wicks into the wick holes and into the tank. This, you just rest it in those wells, the juice will come up, and it always, always wicks, no dry hits, and I'll give you an example right here. This is going to be a little excessive, but just bear with me. Well, good night. That's all I got to show you. Just kidding. But look, you can do that all day. No dry hits. Also, I like the fact that this thing is really hard to make leak. Even if you hold upside down, you're not going to get it to leak. I mean, if over time it may leak, but for the most part, ain't going to happen. Now, I don't think that that was very loud, what I just did. The airflow is very smooth. Uh, I mean, the list of positives for this thing could go on for a long time. This is one of the first times I can really tell you guys that the price is worth what you're getting. And I know that's a, it's a hefty price tag. This thing's going to sell out. But, you know, for what it is, guys, if you can pick this thing up secondhand or in a store, I don't see why you wouldn't pick it up. I mean, for those things alone, the flavor's great. The build is easy. This thing is a win all around. This is a high-end uh, esque win. So I'm going to leave it at that. I gushed enough. I'm sorry for that, but I gave you guys a lot of positives and not so many negatives. So this thing is, you know, it's worth it. That was the Mav T by Hellfire. Uh, you know, it's a good thing. But, you know, you want some cotton? Oh, that's not cotton. You want some tweezers? Maybe some e-juice? Maybe some cotton? Some tweezers? Why don't you go check out Premium Vape Supply and use my discount code? Whether that's here, or here, or here. One last place, here. And get 20% off your whole purchase. Yes, I said it, your whole purchase. Um, why don't you go check out Lion Wholesale, get yourself some batteries, can't vape without batteries, what you gonna do? And why don't you come check us out on Monday nights with myself, Eric the Vaping Politician from Phoenix Vapor, and Mr. William himself, the, the savage himself, completely savage Mr. Bill from 
Cooper's Vaping View, and a special guest most nights on Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern, the original Monday Night Crew. Why don't you come check us out and give us some support. Come BS, come talk. Maybe we'll talk about the Mav T. Maybe we'll talk about something else. But yeah, thank you guys very much. I do appreciate the support. Everything you guys do, whether it's the comments, the live shows, or even just the Facebook group, it means a lot to me. You know, I, I do put a lot of time into this. I put a lot of effort. I, I try to give you guys a good quality video. Now, that's not tooting my own horn or nothing, but I do do it for you guys. And, you know, I love you. I love every single one of you. So, that being said, guys, uh, there's just one last thing I can say. It's the only thing I've ever really been able to say good. Let's do this.